We're back live in studio with Samuel Azuzer in the business headquarters of Radio Shalom 1650 AM in Montreal, Canada with the Money and Business Show. Samuel Azuzer is a consultant with TE Miradal, which has been providing individuals, families, businesses, and employees with truly objective financial advice and education since 1972. You can visit them at www.teemiradal.com. You have questions about your personal finances? You need advice in making sound financial decisions? Samuel and his guests are ready to take your call at 514-738-4100, extension 200. And now, back to the Money and Business Show. Maurice Cousin from National Bank Financial and went to the clubhouse turn and headed down the home stretch of our show. And I'll run some closing quotes for you today. And uh, here we go. The Dow Jones down 185.33 to 12,570. The S&P 500 down 1904 to 13,555. The TSX is down 204.87, 11,929.79. Gold is up 90 cents to 1,725.70. Oil is up 69 cents to 87.16. And the Canadian dollar is down fractionally to 99.67. And now we've got live from New Jersey. Our next guest is Mr. Gary Scher, Assemblyman Gary Scher represents the 36th Legislative District in uh, the New Jersey General Assembly of the United States. He's currently Chair of the Financial Institutions and Insurance Committee, Vice Chair for the Budget Committee, and a member of the Committee on Women and Children. Gary Scher was elected to the Assembly on November 8, 2005, and he took the seat of Republican Paul Gigantano, who did not run for re-election and had held the seat in the Assembly uh, continuously since 1992. Scher has served in, on the Passaic City Council, including 11 years as council president. He has been the director of Passaic's Urban Enterprise Zone since 2002. Cher became the acting mayor of Passaic uh, upon resignation of Samuel Rivera, who had pleaded guilty on corruption charges. Jeez, that sounds like Montreal. Sam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's why I put it in there. Sounds, yeah. like, sounds like Montreal. Montreal. Uh, <laughs> City he, is Hall a, here, yeah. he is a trustee of St. Mary's Hospital. Cher has worked in the financial services industry for over 20 years. He's an investment consultant and vice president at Ryan Beck & Company. Cher grew up in Pensacon Township, New Jersey. He attended American University, majoring in political science. I had a girlfriend on Pensacon for a while. Anyways, go ahead, Sam. Yes, uh, hello, and how are you, Assemblyman Gary Cher? How are you? I am fine, thank God. It's so nice to, uh, to hear from you. Yes, uh, and we're definitely concerned here in Montreal, um, um, and I'm glad you're on. Uh, could you just tell us a little bit what's going on in the aftermath of the Hurricane Sandy in New Jersey, in your area, District 36? Well, in terms of my specific area, which includes the city of Passaic, um, uh, which is the uh, home of uh, a significant number of from families. In addition, the district includes parts of South Bergen County. Uh, four communities were significantly affected, Lyndhurst and Wallington. Uh, Little Ferry uh, was significantly affected. Hundreds of families lost their homes, and the town of Munaki was literally obliterated. Many, many of the homes in Munaki, in fact, are uh, trailers, and they were literally washed away. Uh, Munaki no longer exists for all intents and purposes. Um, however, Baruch Hashem, when we compare ourselves to Far Rockaway, uh, the Five Towns area, Seagate, uh, all in New York, um, we fared much, much better than they did, and certainly much better than parts of southern New Jersey did as well. Is, is power restored in, in most of the municipalities uh, of your district? In my district, power is restored in most. There are a number of outages that remain because of the destruction to, uh, to wires, um, to transformers, which has still not yet been repaired. Um, but most of the work done uh, in this area, which is under the uh, governance of PSC and G Electrical and Gas, um, has been taken care of. So at this point, uh, most families in the uh, Jewish community, at least, did not have power for about seven or eight days, some of them for as long as about two and a half weeks. That's, uh, that's tough. Uh, spe specifically, you know, for Shabbos, what do you do? Um, no, you go to your daughters in my case, but uh, <laughs> it was, it was a uh, very, very difficult. One forgets how dependent on modern conveniences, you know, you become. Uh, but when you don't have hot water, when you don't have heat, when you don't have light, and obviously flashlights are nice, the first Shabbos after, uh, after the storm, it was cold. 
It was literally cold. cold yes. Days that follow got a little bit it, warmer. It snowed, right? A, a little bit. I think it did snow. Uh, it did snow as okay. well. Um, but when you're blessed with, you know, young children, um, and many of them, um, and the yeshivot were uh, necessarily closed, they were without power initially as well. But again, everything becomes relative, uh, and relative to parts of New York State, um, we've been very blessed and very thankful. Also, uh, I, I, I was also reading the wire here that representative will be available also from the U.S. Small Business Association. Is that right? Uh, to help businesses and private nonprofit organizations to see the, uh, the federal, the, the federal SBA, right. the Small Business Association, as well as FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency, um, have been extraordinarily active. Uh, throughout all of the affected areas. Um, the states have uh, transferred that material locally. I'm uh, a political official on the local level as well. I know the amount of information that we get that's been disseminated. Um, been an extraordinarily good job in that respect of getting the information out. Nonetheless, the rebuilding process is going to be very, very long and very, very arduous. This is no Hurricane Katrina, but it did a lot of damage. Uh, what, what are we talking about in dollars here, and how much would you need to repair to get back uh, to normal, normalcy, I would say, uh, in New Jersey? Well, Governor uh, Cuomo in uh, our sister state of New York estimates about $33 billion, uh, that's obviously U.S. dollars, uh, in destruction. Uh, he's asked for $30 billion from the uh, federal government in Washington um, in terms of uh, grants to take care of the issues. In New Jersey, we've not finalized as of yet exactly how much that will, um, what the total price tag we assume will be. Um, I know that uh, our governor, uh, Governor Christie, um, has been in contact with us, spoke uh, yesterday with our treasurer. Uh, they're working on those figures. The hope is to get the figures to Washington shortly, but we want to get the correct figures to them. But we are talking tens of billions of dollars. Um, obviously, the destruction was significant. Um, although it is a bit of a mixed blessing, if one always tries to look for the good, even amongst the bad, um, and that is that there will be significant dollars put to work, which will put more people back to work. So, uh, so hopefully there'll be some good news coming out, so, of, so uh, out of an otherwise tragic situation. Yeah, so Baruch Hashem, things are getting a little bit better. Uh, I just want a, a little side note here. We have about another minute and a half or so. Uh, I wish we had longer time to, to talk maybe in another another uh, show or so, but d during the presidential elections, uh, despite the hurricane destruction, did people come out and vote? Um, or did they have the opportunity to vote? Was it a, a low turnout? Or I don't in, in terms of opportunity, um, they did have an opportunity to vote where people had difficulty getting to their polling stations. They could uh, issue provisional ballots. Those were made freely available. Um, there was some miscommunication coming from our uh, Secretary of State, who was also our Lieutenant Governor, in terms of the ver voting itself. Nonetheless, turnout, I will tell you, was high. Really? Um, it was high throughout the country, and it was very high in New Jersey as well as in New York, which were probably the two most dramatically hit states. Wow. So significant turnout. It was a huge election, yes. um, an election of, of uh, tremendous consequence, certainly, and I think people understood their civic duty and exercised that duty, thank God. Uh, so it, uh, wow, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised. Uh, I'm a little surprised because usually, you know, a, a hurricane and the devastations, people don't really want to go out there. They have other things uh, more right. priority than than uh, uh, voting for, uh, you know. For well, I, I think, Baruch Hashem, people understood that, indeed, the um, there were short-term issues, and in many extent those issues remain, but long-term. Um, we have responsibility to uh, ensure that we have the type of government uh, that we want, that we need, that will respond to us appropriately. Um, so thank God, uh, thank God yes. you know, our, our response, uh, at least in New Jersey and New York, 
uh, was very, very significant and does not seem to have been adversely affected by the storm. Assemblyman Garishar, uh, I just, just, just we have uh, maybe 35 seconds left or so. Can you just, just round things up and uh, tell our listeners, um, you know, a conclusion, uh, somebody you want to, something that you want to say uh, concerning what, what happened? And uh, I I'm sure there's a good story behind all this. Well, I think that one of the best stories is in terms of the uh, resilience of, of all of our communities, um, especially within together. the Jewish community, seeing the development and, and the growth and the, and the work of the Bechalim, of the Chatzalov, of all of the different groups helping within the community and extending that help to other communities, despite the fact that Passaic and our sister city of Clifton were hit very badly by the storms. I must tell you, we're sending uh, women and men over to the five towns, over to Seagate, over to Far Rockaway on a daily basis to help them out. Um, so in that sense, it's it's been a wonderful, wonderful Kiddush Hashem. Wonderful Kiddush Hashem. And, and, and it's a Kiddush Hashem, and thank God everybody's okay. And I want to thank you. Hopefully you'll get on, on our show uh, next time. Maybe we'll have a little bit more time. And, I, would look, uh, I would certainly look forward to that. God will. We can, we can even do it in French if you'd like. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you. That was Assemblyman Gary Shara, representing uh, represents the 36th uh, Legislative District of New Jersey, General Assembly of the United States of America. And I want to thank Mr. Morris Guzino from National Bank Financial. Thank you, Sam. It's a pleasure being here. Yes, we had a great show there Good today. Good show, yeah, and excellent. And uh, my name is Samuel Uzzurza from the Money Biz Show on Radio Shalom, CJRS 1650 AM Montreal. Happy capitalism, and God bless you.